we're seeing here, the last pier, it's really like you're almost sticking out into the harbor. So there's a great dynamism to it um, as you come down along. Um, and uh, so that was pier, that's Pier 5, that's where the soccer fields are going to go in. And then up here on the headlands is what we call the Picnic Peninsula, so that's where all the picnic tables will be. All the wood that you see on the benches in the park is actually recycled from old buildings that were on the site that we took down. It's old growth uh, longleaf yellow pine. And the, and the long benches um, that go in the picnic are actually made out of the big old buildings that are in the old warehouses. And uh, you can see it's half developed very uh, graphically here at night. And you can see our lighting that I was talking about, okay? And, the, and so the old structure is, is painted in a, in a blue that I, I call like a day school version of the original blue, right? And, uh, and then we built this very innocuous little thin light structure that goes onto that beam that you see up here on the old one, right? And that is, is actually a fluorescent light and uh, color you know, chosen to have the right color temperature. And it, and, it, and it lights the path from behind so you don't have light poles intervening between you and the water. And you're not looking up into, like here, this is more traditional, right? Which we did here. But then along those edges, which first, also this will become a real signature of the park at night, you'll see these lines of lights on the piers as you look down at those things, so. And, that was a, and those lettering is from the original piers that were restored and replaced up there. It wasn't there, it was in a different location on the pier that we put them in. So that's how each pier will be eventually. And the perch wetland will be out there on that pier in a kind of garden in the middle of it. And then it's surrounded by sh um, shrub banks that create pocket lawns that all face in different directions, like have different kind of orientation towards the wind and the sun and things like that. So there'll be a lot of different microclimates out there. And also on that pier, you see kids playing, uh, not just kids, playing volleyball there. There's sand volleyball there, which we'll see in a minute. And then you see the building there, which we call the warming house, the Park Welcoming Center. That uh, originally was an old building that Marianne kind of reclaimed as a found object and uh, made this, she took the top off and made a, a public uh, um, place to be outside. Whatever that's called. Uh, I'm, now, I'm now losing my mind. And uh, and uh, and then there's bathrooms and there's a concession space inside and there's a place to hand out, you know, supplies and stuff like that. So um, you'll see that you can use the bathroom there too if you want. And then to the to the left here and going up towards Atlantic Avenue is a massive play landscape. I didn't call it a playground. It's about a, it's a five areas five gardens, okay? And um, and I'm telling you all this now so we can just walk through it and I don't get, I have to stop you on narrow paths and stuff like that. I know you're tired anyway. So, um, there's five gardens. There's Swing Valley, which is basically a, a garden uh, that incorporates pods of swings and all the flowers that you would have at a beach house. Um, and then, uh, there's um, the Marsh Garden, which is immediately right after the stop sign there. That's a little uh, nature uh, commuting area that has a water, constructed water garden in it that's filled with horsetails. Um, then next to that is, is the water lab or the water play area. It's a water garden with lots of fun water spraying and stuff like that. It's closed down because it's after hours for the kids. And then um, next to that is a, big, is a big gigantic sand air play area called the Sand Village. And then next to that is called Slide Mountain, which is a, we have a little uh, hill we made over there. And slides built into the hills and play equipment and bamboo and uh, Magnolia Virginiana. Um, and so each thing has its own horticultural kind of identity. It's kind of gardeny uh, and parky at the same time. And um, so we're just, I'm just going to walk, wander around over there. And I, I won't natter on anymore, okay? And then, um, and then we're, we'll walk up, uh, up Atlantic Avenue. You can see that entrance, and then we could go um, to the Roebling Inn if you'd like. And um, 